Hey Karu, I have been holding off putting this video up because I was going to get Sarah to do the voiceover, but it's pretty clear at this point it's not going to happen. So you're going to have to deal with my uh, crappy commentary again. Here we go to Chaco. So this is the road that takes us into the Chaco Cultural Continue National on County Historic Route 79, 50 for three and we miles. were coming down here saying, this can't be right. This absolutely can't be right. But... Uh, Apparently it is right, because there was just a sign that pointed us this way. Um, so yeah, so I guess we'll have to come out this way too. So this is where we are. This road back here, which you can hardly see, virtually impassable. I mean, we were going two miles an hour at times because it was so bad. If it had been raining, we couldn't have made it. And then we go. <laughs> come out and all of a sudden we have a paved road here to the World Heritage Site. <laughs> Crazy. So driving into Chaco obviously was a bit of an adventure that we hadn't expected. <laughs> it ended up being 20 miles on a dirt road and like six miles before we got there it actually, we passed a sign that said the county no longer maintains this road. So <laughs> yeah, the road was, was in pretty bad shape. But it was all fun in the end. Now, the interesting thing about Chaco, I'm going to no, get all the facts wrong it. because, as I said, Sarah um, was going to uh, do a voiceover, but I'm just going to do it and get it done. So Chaco is actually um, a center of the, uh, of the Pueblo culture. I don't know if they're actually... Let me get the names wrong. They may not be Pueblos. Um, that was also Mesa Verde. Was the, all part of the same culture group. And uh, it was thought to be... Chaco Canyon was thought to be kind of a ceremonial center. So there's a whole bunch of these old ruins. And they were all built about the same time that all the medieval castles that we visit in Wales were built. Um, and it's interesting because the construction techniques are very different... Or very similar with a few key differences. Um... So this, what you're seeing here is Pueblo Bonito, um, which was the biggest uh, center and was considered to be a religious or ceremonial or administrative center or something. And there were a whole bunch of roads that went from here to all over the southwest um, that were built, and they built uh, uh, stairs up through the cliffs, which we'll see video of later. And the one architectural difference that we saw between or not one, but one of the architectural differences between the, the places we see in the UK and these are these big round kivas, which were ceremonial um, areas that were built deep into the earth, and then they would sit down in there and pray and spend time together. Or Actually, I'm not sure if they were praying, spending time together. Um, and so you see these round uh, kivas all over the place. In addition... Um, just like in the cliff dwellings, um, they didn't enter through doors in the sides. They would climb up ladders and come down through the roof into these buildings. And then the doors between rooms were these really low, small doors that, like you see right here. Um, and they were tended to be multi-story um, buildings. And actually, Pueblo Bonita is like one giant, it's, it's sort of like a castle or a cathedral, um, you know, it's one giant structure with rooms and courtyards inside of it. Um, and you can see they, they would put timbers in and uh, build floors for the multiple stories. Um, and we'll see an example. Actually, this is a corner door, which was really unusual, apparently. It's a door that goes out the corner of a room. And we'll see that from the other side, too, eventually. Um, the other thing you saw was these T-shaped doors, which were believed to be ceremonial. So uh, those were kind of cool and interesting as well. Um, but yeah, it was just fascinating. That, oh, this, is, this is a room they've restored. And so you can see kind of what the ceilings look like with a big beam and then uh, smaller uh, pieces of wood going 90 degrees to that. And then once again, even smaller pieces going. Uh, so there's three layers of wood and then they'd put some plaster on top of it to create the floor. Here, up, upper left-hand corner, you see that's that, that door that goes diagonally through the corner coming out the other side. Um, yeah, so this is, uh, we're outside the uh, uh, Pueblo Bonito there, and uh, 
we, it was really nice because we got there and there was very few people there, like three or four people. And we went through the whole thing and hardly saw anyone. And then just as we were leaving, um, a big school bus pulled up and it was a huge tour. This is a, a, actually a separate site a little ways away, but you see it's all very similar. The architecture is all very similar. Um, and uh, once again, they've got the big round kiva there. Um, uh, yeah, this is, there's one room you could go into here and you can see how low the door is. Um, and apparently this was pretty standard moving through these spaces. Um, yeah, so yep. Here we are looking at a room. So we really enjoyed actually seeing uh, Chaco. And, and like I'd never heard of it until we were at Mesa Verde. Sarah knew about it. Um, but I, I didn't, uh, didn't even know it existed. Nice room. Um, so it's pretty, pretty incredible. In addition, there were these ravens flying around. We saw a few places. Um, oh, wait. Before that, this is uh, actually some of the stairs they cut in the cliff face for their road. You can see right up at the top there, the bottom uh, rocks have fallen away, but they, they would just carve uh, stairs into the cliff. And these were some petroglyphs we saw. Um, and here looking out over Chaco Canyon. And actually, the butte that you see over here on the left that's about to come in, and you see how the lower right side, there's like a long ramp there. And that was apparently uh, man-made. Yeah, and here's the ravens I was talking about. We saw these huge ravens around all the time, and they were actually really cool. You can understand why they sort of had uh, mythical status in a lot of indigenous cultures. So anyway, that was our trip to Chaco, and then we headed off to Santa Fe. Uh, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. Talk to you later.